Are you sure that it's okay for you to be here? I mean, out of the hospital, Ted told us. I had to see my Jenny. Get some sugar. Shouldn't you be in bed? This is what I need. This is all I need. My, my baby kicked today. It was the first big kick. It's pretty wild. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but, um... I think we like the same things, and neither of us are crazy about garlic, so... I'm sorry. I shouldn't be yakking about being pregnant when you'll never be able to... Ugh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I, um... Uh... I won't be able to. David's gonna come after my baby now, isn't he? He promised me he wasn't gonna make any claims on your baby. <laughs> yeah, like he promised me that he wouldn't tell JR he was the father if I cooperated with him. <laughs> oh, excuse me if I don't trust his promises. That's one of the reasons he wanted to get pregnant, isn't it? To keep David and keep him away from my baby. That was part of it. Children... Children bring a different kind of love. Bright. Hopeful. You look at them and you... You see yourself and... You see the future. A future that goes on long after you're gone. Of course, a genius surgeon with a god complex would want immortality. There you are. Hey, you beautiful girl. <laughs> She's looking more like you every single day. I think she needs a diaper change. I'll be right back. Okay. You're the big champion of mother's rights, aren't you? Well, I'll take that to mean that we have your blessing. You can't take Jenny. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. I was just talking to Amanda about how important Jenny is to you right now. And letting her know that we'll be taking her for the night. N no. No, we're not going to do that. She can barely keep her eyes open. I mean, why cart her off when all she wants is her own bed? Are you sure this is what you want? Yeah. 